kept looking at that tree thinking, boy, that would make a beautiful tree house. <laughs> so after kind of badgering my brother for a year, he finally said, okay, we'll build you a tree house. It's been my favorite place to live. I feel the wind at night. I feel like I'm sailing all the time. We were into healthy foods. We were into bees, honey. And I started the garden and started with a little garden and it kept getting bigger and bigger because that's, that's what gardening happens. I grew probably a uh, hundred different vegetables here, herbs. I saw a Craigslist ad and said, live in a tree house. So I said, well, for my own personal edification, I must see it. And I came into this room and I said, this is exactly how I live. Anyway, being in Miami is also very special. It makes it the place that it is. Because you could put this somewhere else, it wouldn't feel the same. Because this is hustle bustle going on around us, but this is a mecca of, can breathe, it's space to breathe in this, in this busy city. We wanted to make a nice place to hang out, and there was like drugs going on. But on this particular block, I bought up probably six or eight crack houses. Evicted the people, the dealers, and renovated them and rented them. And that was like the only way to get rid of the dealers. Well, it was for sale. I was at one point I was real fed up about six or eight months ago, and I had an offer. The offer fell through. So I may keep it. I may sell it. I need a little more freedom. The biggest point is anyone can adapt to anything. And to live in an oversized home and waste, 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 waste. For more space, for more crap. No, try one thing that's different. That's, that's the point that I think people should get from this.